guys i'm back with another video and this time um anna is back and we are going to be recreating um this and it's um it's perler i don't know if you guys know that brand but pretty much it's like all of those tiny beads that you like put on the sheet and then iron it and yeah so this should be fun even though it wasn't <laughs> so i hope you guys enjoy and um yeah let's get started so basically what we got was um over 3,000 beads um to put on this thing this clear thing and a pattern and a pair of tweezers since there was two of us we used the tweezers that they gave us and like normal beauty tweezers that you would use like for anything and um yeah so we just laid the pattern underneath the clear board i guess you can call it um we had to buy this board and it wasn't wide enough well it wasn't tall enough to fit the whole pattern because you were supposed to buy four large uh like separate boards and then put them together but you know we didn't do that and our plan was to like go back and just add the top like after we ironed it we would move it down and then add the rest of the beads and then iron it again but after 10 hours of doing this we just know <laughs> and it looks good without like the top of the ears on it so we thought it would be fine and it is fine because our little doggo is still beautiful and this first part is kind of boring because it's just green and I honestly thought this would be a lot more satisfying but you know it's not so we're just gonna go with it and I just want to warn you guys this is um, almost an 18 minute video some are bloopers but yes this is a long video so get used to my talking um yeah so basically throughout the night we just traded off tweezers and I came over around five ish in the afternoon and we went to like 10 o'clock at night and I think it actually might have been later than that because we stopped to get food and then did some more but that's not we didn't record it because we were so tired and we were just like let's just do this plus my phone was at like five percent so I couldn't really record if we actually wanted to so there is a point where like the top right ear will get done and you'll just be like oh well that's cool so yeah um that's the thesis and I oops ew. um there's my nice head in the way of what you guys can see but thank thank goodness you can actually um kind of see what i was doing and we were going excuse me we were going color by color and just picking out of like a bucket picking the beads out of a like flat tupperware i guess <laughs> it was like the thing that the board came in so it was raised up and had like an edge around it so it was like a really flat bowl or like a plate yeah exactly like a plate and we originally just poured all of the beads in there and there's like 3500 beads and we were just picking the colors out as we went but now we're stopping to sort the beads out so we wouldn't have to look and like scoop there's the plate bucket bead holder thing that I told you guys about and now we're sorting them out by color and there's 15 different colors but this saved a lot of time and struggle because we could just like pour the beads out into our hands first 
um, like however many we need it or like just a whole bunch and then we wouldn't have to search for the specific colors that we needed because it was kind of hard looking at all those different color beads and like there was like three different shades of yellow, three different shades of green, some different shades of purple, pinks, reds, it was just, and then orange and yellow, it was just difficult and the black kind of just consumed the entire thing. So yeah, we just sorted them out and there was Anna. She's beautiful. I love her. She's my wife. We're married. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah. Uh, school's going well. I got some good classes. Got Algebra 2 honors. Um, painting one. Woodshop. Or it's technically materials and processing because we do more than just wood <laughs> and like woodworking and um my last class is biology or general biology one and today we got to pet butters and hold him and he's a snake that's about like three foot long and he's like pale yellow and five years old and he's a corn snake and he's beautiful and I'm in love with him and he tried to lick my face or smell my face I guess since they smell with their tongue but yeah that was fun so yeah school's going well um I have A's in three of my classes and a B in one of my class and it's my third week of school yeah <laughs> So now we're moving on to like, well, Anna has done the white and, well, is still doing the white. And then she moves on to like pink and blue and I'm doing it by row now. So I'm like dumping out the colors as I need them because I thought this was going to be satisfying, but it's really not. This video is like choppy and like not satisfying at all. But yeah, basically I was doing it in horizontal rows. So that it would like fill up fa well not faster but it looks like it's filling up faster and it looks more put together and I just thought that was a good idea so that's what I did and yeah um this was the morning by the way we woke up at like well we were both asleep by 10 30 that night because we were so tired from sitting here and doing this which is so much work oh my god um <laughs> and then we both woke up at 3 a.m for some reason and was like hey bud <laughs> and then we went back to sleep and we woke up at like 7 30 8 o'clock and did this for four hours straight and yeah that was so fun we love that for us. <laughs> Just think, this almost took up half a day. Like, 10 hours? That's crazy. Just, no. I don't agree. <laughs> Actually, yeah, it was like 10 hours. Mm-hmm. But now I have a rainbow dog. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna give this to my English teacher because she likes dogs, especially corgis, but I feel like she would really appreciate this. So I'm most likely gonna give it to her. Um, right now it feels like it's gonna fall apart, so I might iron it some more so that it doesn't feel like that because our iron wasn't getting very hot. And you'll see that later how great that was going for us and you'll get to hear my struggle it was amazing mm -hmm. i don't really know what to talk about okay so in my painting class we were doing gray scale which is like black and white for you guys who don't like keep up with the with the art terms so it's like a scale from black to white and we were doing a still life. 
So he just sets up some random shapes or random forms for us and then we just have to paint them as realistically as possible. And you're painting in the dark and all the light is like it's two lamps concentrated on the still life which is all the forms like set up however they are and you know I really did not like this but that's the reason I take art classes because like they push us to do stuff that we're uncomfortable with but make us a better artist at the same time so we spent we're gonna spend like a week and a half on this even though I'm already done I'm probably still gonna have the teacher tell me things that I can like improve on because sis looks rough and we don't like that so yeah um it looks rough i just said that but whatever and yeah everyone else is struggling and it's just kind of stressful like we have to stand the entire time which is kind of normal for painting but I like to sit because then I can like hunch over and put my face in my painting which you can't do while you're standing up using an easel or like propping it against a stool which is annoying like we have short stools they're like three they're like stools for like normal tables I'm sure your school has some um, especially in the art rooms but like we just f turn them upside down and put them on the table and then use those as easels and I'm like this is very uncomfy for me my feet my back and my neck like the first day my neck was so sore from like bending over and moving my body <laughs> it was not okay and I thought I was gonna die my neck hurt so bad but it's fine now. It's okay. Because it actually kind of looks good. But you know. It's whatever. Um. In my materials and processing class, we're working on our third project. The first one we did was stairs for my teacher's daughter's pool deck and now oh and then the second one was chicken coops we made two chicken coops so that was fun i got to use an air compressed nail gun which was kind of scary and big saws that can cut your fingers off and he was just like this is not what to do with a saw and then he just let us do it and I was like, okay, I feel uncomfortable, but it's okay, because we didn't die. Um, but now we get to like do our own projects and poop, what was I going to say? Oh, I've had this like, oh my gosh. I've had this wood sitting outside and it's like a slab just cut right out of the like trunk of a tree so it's about like four or five inches thick and it has the bark on it still and I'm gonna make a table out of it but I took like I took a measuring tape and measured three inches from the edge and then did that all the way around the the um, the wood and we just finished most of the the thing thing and and now we're going to iron it and then if you notice from before we couldn't fit the whole pattern on on the board so then we're gonna finish that part. <laughs> Not work. I would literally kill myself. Like, I would be out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Is it working? 
Não. Oh my god. Okay, they're like coming up. But really slowly and keep it down. No, they already started coming up. Oh my god! It's a blowback. No, you're gonna help me. Don't pop and pop at me like that. You need to go slower so you don't bump them. Because when you bump them too hard, they come up so they go really slow. But these ones already came up. Well, you're just gonna have to deal with that then. But no, sis. Will you put them back in? Don't. Why are you looking at me like that? No, I'm like, this is kind of. It's hard. Because like, oh. they're connected now. But we're amateurs. You really can. This is bad. Okay. Let me finish up my table story. And then we cut the circle out. And I'm going to do a resin pour with dry flowers. And I'm going to turn it into this little like side table. And it's going to be so cute. But this is the finished project. And I hope you guys liked the video. Like and subscribe if you did. Bye. <laughs> What are we doing? Okay, guys, so... <laughs> we just... <laughs> Is this an intro or an outro? The middle tro. Middle tro? Yeah. Oh, from, like, between when we finished that and... Yeah. Okay, mid tro. Okay, we just... Oh. <gasps> and it hits me in the face. What? <laughs> hey, guys, we're back. <laughs> Okay, we're whoa. <laughs> I'm away. We're back with another video doing pinboard stuff. Yeah, that thingy. We're doing this. So and this. So Separate let's get started.